Welcome to Codebase Sterling Level Up. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own bunny catching um, game on Scratch. So let's go. Okay, so we are going to animate our own rabbit catching um, game on Scratch. Um, Scratch is a brilliant online resource um, that is free and you can find everything on this website. It's called scratch.mit.edu. There are lots of projects and ideas um, that you can use to get started on coding. So Scratch is brilliant. You can just kind of like go straight into it and you can start coding basically straight away. So today um, we're going to do our bunny um, game because it's Easter. So we're going to start off with a blank um, blank sheet. So first up, we're going to go up to here. It's create. And what it'll do, it'll pull up our lines of code, our backdrops and our sprites. So this is what you'll see when you first um, get into um, creating your project. So we'll just close out of these ones, these windows. And the first thing you'll see over here is you'll see the Scratch cat, who is the mascot for um, Scratch. But we don't want to use a cat today, we want to use a bunny. So we'll just um, get rid of him at the moment. And first of all, you want to set up your stage. And on the right hand side here, you'll see backdrops. So we want to choose a, a really cool backdrop. Um, I think I'm going to choose the great outdoors. So there are lots of backdrops that you can choose from, but I am going to go for a forest today. And then after that, you want to add in a sprite. And this is going to be um, your character for your game in which you're going to try and catch. So down here, you'll see this little um, cat um, icon. I want to click on him. And then as you can see, there are lots and lots of sprites that you can choose from, um, just ranging from everything from animals to um, people dancing. And here you've got like, the scratch cat. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to choose a rabbit. So I'm going to go into this animals um, section here. And the rabbit I'm going to choose, I can never find him. Here he is. So I'm going to choose this little rabbit here. So now the rabbit has appeared into the backdrop. He's looking a bit dis disproportionate at the moment. So I think I'm going to reduce the size. And I think I'm going to change it to 60. I think that's probably a good size for him. So I'm going to move him down here so that we can see him clearly. And the lines of code that we're going to write is going to be on this rabbit. So you want to make sure that he's selected in this little bar here on the right. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, write some lines of code so that when you click on the rabbit, he's going to um, hide and then he's going to come back. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the left hand side panel here and this is everything that you need to write your lines of code. So we're going to go on to events and when the green flag is clicked that's when everything starts. So you'll see up here you've got a green flag and a little red hexagonal stop um, um, symbol here. So when the green flag is clicked that's when everything starts. So when the green flag's clicked, I'm going to make him disappear for a second and come back for a second. And I want this to keep going until I say stop. So we're going to use this little forever line here. And we're going to make him hide. And then we're going to wait one second. And then we're going to have him show. And we're going to have him wait one second. So let's give this line of code a wee go to see how it interacts with our rabbit. So we'll click that green flag. So great, you can see that he is showing for one second and then disappearing again for another second. And this is going on until I say stop because I have put it into a forever um, line here. So we'll just press the red button to make him stop at the moment and then uh, what we'll do is we want him to come back in a different position every time within the backdrop. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to the motion section and we are going to pick um, 
we are going to pick this line here, go to random position. But we want him to go to a random position before he decides to show himself. So we'll pop it in between these two blocks here. So that's our line here. So let's see how that interacts with our bunny. So here he is showing up in a random position every time he comes back. So it's not really much of a, a game just now. He's just kind of showing and then going away every one second. But we want to be able to, to catch him. So we're going to write another line of code so that when we click on this rabbit, he, we're going to catch him. And that will increase our score by one. So we are going to go back to our panel here. And um, we're going to click when this sprite is clicked. So you've got the option here to write the light, the next lines of code within this line. But I think for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll keep it separate. It still works in exactly the same way. So when the rabbit is clicked, we want him to hide. So we'll just grab this hide line here. And then we want to change the score by one. So what we need to do is we need to add a variable in because this doesn't exist in here. So we'll go down to our variables and we're going to click make a variable. And for the purpose of this, we're going to write score and we're going to keep it for the sprite only. Now we want to change the score by one. And we'll change this to score because you've already added it. Now, as you can see up here, it's added my variable in, as in the rabbit is going to be called a score. But then we also want the score to reset to zero when we press the green flag. So let's click set my variable to zero. And we're going to add that in when the green flag is clicked, but before you want this rabbit to start moving in different directions. So we'll change that variable to zero. All right, so let's see how this goes. We're going to click on the green button here and we're going to click on the rabbit. And as you can see, the score is increasing by one every time I catch the rabbit. Okay. So that's good. So we'll just stop just there. Um, so we want to add another element to this. We want to be able to add a timer because we don't want to have to just keep clicking and not give ourselves a bit of a challenge. So let's write some more code. So we'll go back to um, events and we're going to write one up here. As I said before, you can add your code in within this if you'd like, um, but for, for you guys to be able to see clearly what I'm doing, I'm going to add it separately. So we're going to add another variable, just like we did with the score, and we are going to call it time. I'm going to click for this for you. Okay. So we want to set the time, and we're going to add it up here. And let's give ourselves 10 seconds to be able to catch the rabbits. So we'll set the time to 10, and then we want the time to count down from 10 to 0, and then we want it to stop. So let's repeat because you want the time to keep going until we say well. So repeat until and then we're going to add this button here and we're going to add our variable of time and we want to repeat until the time equals zero. So we want it to go down by one second each time so we're going to say um, wait one second and then we'll go back down to our variable and then we're going to change our time by minus zero. Change our time by minus one each time. And then after that, when it gets to zero, we want this whole thing to stop. So this is our line of code here that relates to the time up here. So let's stop and let's restart. So we're going to click the green button and what you'll see is everything restarts to zero and the time will go down by one second. 
public. So that's it stopped. So I've managed to catch the rabbit three times within the 10 seconds, and you can see the timer has gone down with this line of code here. So this is a great foundation for this game. Um, you can then challenge yourself further by um, writing some code that can change the size of the rabbit every time it comes back onto the screen. You could even um, add in some code where if we click on something that's not a rabbit, for example, you could add in Easter eggs, then it would add another and it would deduct a point from us. Um, so there's lots of different things that you could do with this, but this is a great foundation for um, this game. Again, you can also change the time so you have long, more longer or you can have a shorter time to catch the rabbit. Thanks so much for joining me today on that really fun game. Um, if you would like some more online tutorials and more fun things to do um, in coding, then check out Codebase Sterling's YouTube channel and subscribe so that you get really cool, fun content coming your way. Um, thanks for joining me today and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.